A team of Chinese medical professionals on Wednesday arrived at Abuja's Namdi Zikiwe International Airport, Nigeria, bringing medical equipment. Hi guys, how are you all doing? Hope you're all doing well. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to go ahead and subscribe. And if you're, you know, returning, thank you so much guys for the love and support. Now guys, oh my goodness, outrage, outrage, outrage in Nigeria. Seriously, like, what is going on? Tell me, what is going on? Please, just let me know what's going on. Um, Nigerians were basically outraged that 15 Chinese doctors arrived in Nigeria to help deal with COVID-19. Now, a lot of the arguments coming out of Nigeria was basically that, you know, we didn't, we don't have that many cases, so why is it that Chinese doctors need to come to Nigeria? Don't we have our own doctors? And if we needed doctors, could we ask for doctors from the diaspora? There's so many Nigerians around the world, so many qualified Nigerians um, that are very skilled and knowledgeable to take care of COVID-19 in Nigeria. I mean, I know, I think it was the health minister who said that, you know, the Chinese needed to accompany some donations that they had given to Nigeria. And basically the instructions on the gifts um, were in Chinese and so they would be the one to interpret the information for the Nigerians. Now, um, you know, it was just crazy, crazy, crazy because Nigerians were not having it at all. And for me personally, I just thought to myself, this is absolutely ridiculous. I know that um, Africa or Nigeria has been a friend of China for many, many years. But I just believe that, come on, you could have recruited doctors from Nigeria who are probably out of a job or, um, or um, as I said, doctors from abroad who are Nigerians who would have been happy if they were called to Nigeria to um, support the current crisis. And at the time when I was reading, I think there was a, um, just under 300 cases and people were just like, I, I don't understand what's going on. Like it just wasn't adding up for a lot of Nigerians seriously and you know I know the government or government officials were trying to sort of um just trying to reassure Nigerians that it's okay it's fine um you know they're just here to support us it's not really a problem you know people were just like well you know if we see more cases um of COVID-19 within Nigeria we think that basically it's the Chinese who are coming to spread this disease in um Nigeria although I don't really believe that at all I, I I don't think anyone would have wished for this um crisis to occur because it's really impacting everybody like significantly so I really don't believe that the Chinese would um be bringing COVID more cases of COVID-19 to Nigeria um but again we don't know but um guys let me know what you guys think about this whole situation with Chinese coming to Nigeria um isn't it okay for them to help what what do you what do you what do you think let me know in the comment section guys and remember if you're new to the channel go ahead and subscribe I promise it's free thank you guys so much and don't forget to check out some of my other videos you guys take care now bye a team of Chinese medical professionals on Wednesday arrived at Abuja's Namdi Zikiwe International Airport, Nigeria, bringing medical equipment. The Chinese ambassador to Nigeria says it is time to reciprocate the friendship and kindness offered by Nigeria. The value of the equipment, uh, medical supplies, is around 1.5 million US dollars, and including the other costs like the chartered air flight. It's all uh, around two million US dollars. China, where the first outbreak of the COVID-19 disease occurred, has dispatched medics and supplies across the globe in a soft power push to boost its image. The decision to welcome the Chinese doctors has, however, prompted a backlash from the Nigerian Medical Association. But officials insist the Chinese team will help advise local authorities on handling the pandemic. This is a global problem. You know that this uh, is affecting the whole world. It's such that all countries must help each other. And uh, we must all be a brother's keepers. 
Nigeria, which has so far recorded 276 confirmed cases of COVID-19 and since death, is seen as highly vulnerable to the spread of the virus due to its weak healthcare system and high population density. The country has already received medical supplies, including masks, gowns, and testing kits from China's richest man, Jack Ma.